Hey alligators, I've honestly never been more nervous to film a video in my entire life. I didn't know that I was going to film this until about an hour ago. Some of my friends that I was with at VidCon reached out to me and they said that I should share the story because it's honestly probably the right thing to do at this point. If you guys don't know, there have been some things recently circulating around Twitter about a YouTuber by the name of Dirty Dom saying that he sexually assaulted a couple girls at an after party at VidCon. I can't speak for the other people and the things that they have said, but I can share my story. The more I have been reading up on these other stories that people have been saying, the more it's making me sick because it makes me remember everything that he did to me and also how much I kind of brushed it off like it wasn't that big of a deal until I started seeing what other people were saying. I really hope by by the end of this video that you guys can take a good message out of it. I have never done a video like this where I've dropped names or in any way tried to expose someone, but the things that he did to those girls allegedly and that I know that he did to me are disgusting. I've been doing YouTube for about a year now and VidCon was my first ever real YouTube event where I got to meet other creators, meet subscribers, etc. It was overall a really great experience other than this one particular situation which happened day two at night at the VidCon after party, the Studio 71 network party at the House of Blues in downtown Disney. I went to this party with Olivia Cara and Michelle Platy. They can pretty much back up everything I have to say because they were there for the majority of what happened. Going into this party, we didn't really know anybody, so we were networking, making friends, walking around, meeting people. We had like YouTube acquaintances, but no one we were really close YouTube friends with. So we were kind of a squad, at least in the beginning, until we merged out and met other people. So we had been there for maybe a couple hours at this point. It was kind of late-ish, but not at like the very end of the night. It was open bar, so everyone had been drinking. There was food everywhere. Everyone was just having a really good time dancing. I was walking over to go to the restroom with Olivia and Michelle, and I was stopped by this guy. He was a tall guy with blonde hair. I had no idea who he was. He pulls me aside, grabs me by my waist, and starts whispering in my ear, which was probably a little bit weird now that I think about it, but it didn't alarm me at the time because the music was so loud, so I thought that was normal just so I would be able to hear him. He was hitting on me, telling me that I was really attractive and saying a bunch of stuff like that, asking to dance. He was saying things that were really off. I don't know if this was because he was just really drunk or if he was joking around, flirting, kidding. It was weird, but it wasn't yet to the point where it was creepy. I was just really confused by his sense of humor. And I kind of gave Olivia and Michelle a look like, should I talk to this guy? Is he chill? I don't really know. And they were like, yeah, like go talk to him. And they weren't doing this in a way at all throughout the night saying that you need to go get with that guy, like pressuring me to hang out with him. They were just being like, yeah, girl, we're good. We're just chilling. Go make other friends. So we make our way back over to the dance floor. Olivia and Michelle are right there and I'm standing with him a little bit more alone. We're dancing. We're talking. He's asking me to make out with him, to kiss him. And at first I was just like, I don't even know you. Sorry. Like we just met. What do you mean? Trying to make it into more of a joke, but he's being really, really pushy, not taking no for an answer. So then I just tell him, sorry, I don't do PDA. I just don't do personal display of affection. There's a bunch of people. I'm not just going to make out with you in the middle of the dance floor. Like, no, sorry. He kept trying. At this point, he tries to physically kind of grab me and pull me in to kiss him. So I walked away back over to my friends and I gave them a look like, no, he's creepy. And they're like, do you know who that is? And I was like, no, because honestly, I didn't know who a lot of people were here. And Michelle was like, that's Dirty Dom from David Dobrik's vlogs. And Olivia was like, yeah, earlier at VidCon, he got mobbed right in front of us. You need to go talk to him. What are you doing? That's just his personality. He just does that. He's kidding around. I still honestly had no idea who he was. I was never subscribed to him. I never watched him or anything. I still didn't really get it. This whole time at the party, whenever I had been meeting boys and they were like super famous on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, and I didn't know who they were already, they almost got their ego a little bit bruised. I had guys tell me, well... <laughs> I was on Vine first, like, you don't know who I am type of thing. And I thought it was hilarious. I was like, okay, now that I know who he is, I'm going to mess with him because he obviously thinks that he can get whatever girls he wants at this party. So I'm thinking it's kind of like a game, not trying in any way to get with him, hook up with him. I just mean like make conversation and network because that's what I was there doing anyways. And he really hadn't done anything wrong at this point. He came back over to me, maybe like 20 minutes later, it starts talking to me again. And he says that he wants to go somewhere with me and we're in a public place. We're at a public party. So I didn't see any problem with this. So I take his hand and we walk out off the dance floor to a section where you can kind of stand and he has me put my number in his phone and when he hands me his phone there's already a girl's number that's popped up and he's like oh wait you already gave me your number and the contact name was Kayla and I was like that's not me you could tell he had obviously been flirting with or getting at a lot of girls throughout the night it didn't matter to me because I wasn't interested in him I was just trying to see what he wanted to say to me and have a good time and hang out because my friends were really tired so they were just kind of standing there and I was super full of energy going off and dancing and meeting people then he leads me 
off kind of like more downstairs ish where there was less people he tries to go in this room that's locked and i was like what are you doing like where are you taking me i don't understand he eventually takes us to this balcony where there's a bunch of other people and i sit down because i'm just sick of walking my feet hurt i sit down on the couch it's like this couch that's like on the balcony around the edge and he gets on top of me like straddles me pins me down to the couch and i think it's like a joke for a second like he's gonna let go or something or he's gonna try to give me a lap dance or something stupid because there was still music playing out there but he literally doesn't move he has me pinned down on the couch like I'm just sitting normally and he's facing me with his knees on my knees like holding me down and pinning down my arms and he gets really close to my face and is like kiss me and I'm like no I don't do PDA there's a bunch of people out there like get off of me he doesn't move he still thinks it's funny he's laughing I'm super uncomfortable I don't know what to do at this point because it was different out there when I could walk away but now he has me pinned down so I'm trying to like play my cards carefully and I'm still not understanding what kind of sick joke this is and at this point I don't think it's funny anymore I don't think that he has a weird sense of humor I just think that he's a total creep so I turn to my left I make eye contact with this dude this bigger tall dude he easily could have stepped in he gives me a look kind of like are you okay but he almost like found it entertaining that this was happening there was a bunch of people who saw this happening and didn't do anything about it I gave him a look like I don't know this dude I want him to get off of me but I didn't say anything out loud because everyone else who was sitting nearby clearly heard me say it to the guy dirty Dom right in front of me and they didn't do anything so he still has me pinned down and he's trying to kiss me I'm like literally moving my head to the side so he doesn't he's trying to make small talk with me flirty like hey if I guess your bra size then will you make out with me and I was like no let me off and he still won't take no for an answer so finally I'm like okay fine like knowing that he's not gonna guess it I'm not wearing a bra I'm wearing like a bodysuit like a velvet blue bodysuit there's a picture of me wearing it on Instagram so I just wasn't wearing anything underneath that that was it and I'm pretty sure that he's just not gonna guess the size I just wanted him to get off me so I was like sure whatever and so he unpins one of my arms and he reaches down my shirt, like caresses my boob. And I'm like, what are you doing? I literally pulled his hand off of me. And he's like, you really expect me to guess without feeling them first? And I was like, dude, just get off of me. And then he guesses the bra size. He gets it wrong. And I say, okay, like get off now. And he's like, no, you still have to kiss me. And I'm like, no, I don't. And he's like, at least give me a half kiss. And I'm like, what's a half kiss? And while I'm saying that, he literally just comes in and starts kissing me like making out with me one-sided kiss one-sided and after a couple seconds of that someone comes over and starts talking to him like making conversation so he gets up and at that point I stand up and I start walking towards the door and I open the door and I walk straight back to my friends like literally bolt back to my friends I tell them what happened I'm super upset and they feel really bad because I just want to say again in no way did they know that he was like this or that any of this was going to happen because apparently he plays kind of like a creepy character in his vlogs or in David's vlogs or something like that. I don't understand it, but he really is like that in real life. It, my friends just didn't know that. I didn't know that because like I said, he was being flirty and a little bit weird, but then he got very aggressive when we got outside and we were more alone away from my friends. Also, when I'm telling them this, they say that they got really scared because when I was out there alone with him, our friend Paige came up to them and told them that he tried doing the same thing with, it was either her or one of her friends. So at this point, they kind of realized he was like that, but they couldn't find me because I was literally on a balcony somewhere. So I ended up being okay. Like I was safe. I was back with my friends. I didn't see him the rest of the night and he didn't try looking for me the rest of the night because I literally ditched him out there when he went to go talk to somebody. But that was my experience with him. And this is a topic that I've always wanted to talk more about on my channel. I've been through situations that were a lot more severe than this. And I've been through other situations just like this where guys honestly can't take no for an answer and they do get really aggressive no matter what the extent it's not okay also when this is all going down he had his camera on him and I asked him if he was recording this and he said no so just some food for thought since there were allegedly other girls that were filmed without their consent or put in the video or something without their consent maybe they didn't even know he was filming because if he filmed that which he totally could have he told me he wasn't filming when I left the party when I was getting ready to leave I ran to the guy who saw it happen and he asked me if I was okay and he told me that that guy was a creep that dirty Dom was a creep and looking back it's like why didn't you do anything then because you were literally watching like it was entertaining I don't get it anyways again thank you guys for watching if this helps you at all if you learned something today give it a thumbs up comment below letting me know your thoughts please I really don't want to get hate from this or I'll have to disable the comments but I felt that this was more important just to share if you're new subscribe have my social medias on the screen or down below and I will see you guys in the next video later all getters Bye. All right, guys, so we're officially here at VidCon. I'm going to try to do my little prostitution gig. We're going to see how many uh, girls I can sleep with for $500 before I get arrested. Look at this girl.